Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you are all doing well. So I woke up this morning and I thought I was going to post another video, but then I saw this video. They also seize evidence of the freak-offs. Electronic devices that contain images and videos of the freak-offs with multiple victims. And they seize cases and cases of the kinds of personal lubricant and baby oil that Combs' staff allegedly used to stock hotel rooms for the freak-offs. More than 1,000 bottles altogether. 1,000 bottles of baby oils and loops. But what was actually going on? You know, we, we, when, when I heard of the story, to be honest, I'm thinking, oh, these things maybe happen once a year or something. Okay. Which is bad. It's still bad. Okay. Happens once a year and they all go there to let go of their, you know, all their demons and they engage in things and maybe he has hidden cameras somewhere and then he videos them and then uses it against them. And maybe sometimes they are willing to participate in that and so on and so forth. But 1000 is making me think a lot of things. You know, it's not a one-off thing. It's something that is happening. It's an enterprise. It's a business. Like, what do you need a thousand baby oil and lubricant for? What do you need it for? You know, I hope there are no children involved. And it also explains the swallowed up thing. Because when that man was talking about, have you ever been swallowed up? Swallowed up. There's 1,000 bottles of lubricant put things into perspective. Okay, because if you are using that much lube and oils, probably he was feeling swallowed up. Everybody expected something. I expected something, but I didn't expect this. This is like on a large scale. This is like every single day. This is like 24 hours a day, 365 days a year of somebody who believes that because I have money, because I have fame, because I have the influence, because nobody can catch me, right? I can do whatever the F I want. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all these people to dance to my tune. All right, so whether you want it or not, if you don't want it, I'm going to get them to do it to you anyway. And I'm going to film it. And I'm going to use it against you. So when I call you, you'll be running. That is so evil, like pure evil. And those of them that participated in it willingly... <laughs> Side eye, because when the names are mentioned, I know there'll be some people who didn't initially want to take part in it, right? But they were forced to take part in it. But then we'll find out those who were actually willingly doing it, doing these things with him, you know, laughing with him. But anyway, let's get into some of the um reactions from other people. And I'm going to come back and talk some more. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you. As a lot of you know, P. Diddy has been arrested in New York for sex trafficking charges amongst a multitude of accusations. And the one thing that has stood out is the 1,000 bottles of baby oil. Also, first of all, baby oil breaks down latex. So these people did not have protection for these sex parties. I am so fascinated by the existence of 1,000 plus bottles of baby oil. And I realized I needed to be more specific. This is what you're looking at when they say 1,000 bottles of baby oil. This is crazy to me. Crazy. The judge has denied him bail. They've said that this man is at flight risk. And rightfully so. He's been gallivanting all over the world, just like avoiding being in the United States of America. He pled not guilty. And if he is found guilty, he faces 15 years to life in jail. This guy has been doing this stuff for 20 years. They're accusing him since 2008. 20! Yes, 20 years. Your Honor, I'd like to submit this into evidence because look at the ages of his kids. Like he's literally, from the moment he had his first kid, he was like, I'm gonna start hosting freak off parties. Fatherhood is difficult. What are these freak offs? You might be asking yourself. According to court documents, Mr. Combs wielded power of his status to lure female victims to engage in extended sex acts called freak offs. During freak offs, Combs distributed a variety of controlled substances to victims in part to keep the victims obedient and compliant, the indictment said. In a news briefing, US prosecutor Damian Williams said officials found firearms, ammunition, and more than a thousand bottles of lubricant during raids on Mr. Combs' homes in Miami and Los Angeles. 
Angeles about six months ago. Prosecutors accused Mr. Combs of creating a criminal enterprise whose members, under his direction, engaged in sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, and bribery. Guys, find his, his accomplices, please. Please, these are dangerous men and women of society. On numerous occasions, the document said Mr. Combs assaulted women by striking, punching, dragging, throwing objects at, and kicking them. Like this, this is insane, insane. Remember, remember how serious these allegations must be, the evidence they must have to literally deny this man bail right now. The indictment did not specify how many women were alleged victims. It also does not accuse Mr. Combs himself of engaging directly in unwanted sexual acts with women. 20 years. This should have been going on for 20 years. Since I was a teenager, since I was 14 years old. Good Lord. A thousand bottles of baby oil. A thousand. So that means during these free calls, they were using bottles at a time, right? And then we know that baby oil is typically used for the donut hole. And if this donut hole, this is me, follow my, follow my thinking. If the donut hole was attached to somebody who was drugged and the drugs were used for coercion, that means the donut hole was not properly cleaned and prepped because they didn't know they were going to be using their donut hole because they got drugged. Can you imagine what that room sm smelled like? And then if you have a thousand bottles of baby oil, all that clean, who was doing the cleaning up? They was literally, quite literally slipping and sliding on shit, literally. Pure D shit. Do you remember when he had that show? Um, he was looking for an assistant and they separated into groups and the assistants had to plan a party and they would win based on the party theme. And the group that lost planned a party and the theme was angels and devils, heaven and hell. And he said that they lost because he thought like that was playing with his religious beliefs. What fucking a thousand bottles of baby oil means you believe in chaos and destruction and chaos and destruction alone. And they was in there doing it so long and hard that they need fluid resuscitation. They needed a company to come in, put an IV in their arm and put back a liter of fluids. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say it was a half a liter of fluids. Because that's how long these freak offs were lasting. Can you think back to the best sex you ever had? You're like, whoa, that was great. I need a glass of water. A glass of water is six to eight ounces of fluid. You talking about this man had to get at least 500 milliliters of fluid put back in his body. 30 milliliters is one ounce. 500 milliliters at least he was getting put back in his body. What was he powered by? The lake of fire? Because any normal guy I've ever met after two to three times, it's nothing even coming out of there. He going, oh, he going to jail. I hope his victims enjoy the justice. During Diddy's freak off parties, he would have to have people go and like clean and assess damages and try to minimize the damage after his freak off parties in, in the hotel rooms they used to hold these in. And one of the freak offs caused $46,000 worth of damage to a New York penthouse hotel room in 2012. I'm sorry. Everything that I've heard about Diddy since all of these stories have come out, have it's all been absolutely outrageous. The thousand bottles of lube and forty-six thousand dollars worth of damages. What? Maybe I, I'm sorry to my husband. Maybe I am too vanilla. I can. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing that that could cause forty-six thousand dollars worth of hotel damages during? this freak off party i am shocked this makes no sense to me were they throwing people through walls i'm gonna need an explanation please like what 
why are people like this? There's no, there's no fucking way that we live in a real world. There's no way that this is real life. This man put up a $50 million bond. $50 million bond. And the judge still said, you're denied. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. You're going to jail. You finna be in chains. Out of all the news today, I think I'm still stuck on this $50 million bond because if you look at the fact that in California, the average bail amount for murder is $2 million and your bond amount is 10% of that, right? So that's $200,000. And you can pay your bond by putting up your house, putting up your assets, whatever the case may be. But this man paid off an $18 million home and the judge just said, nah, you gonna sit in jail. I've talked about this before, but I'm gonna say it again. I don't care what you have. I don't care what your life looks like. I don't give a fuck what other people have. I really don't. Because what did you do to get it? How did you end up in the position that you're in? Because the fact of the matter is, if you did something dirty to get where you are, you will have to pay the debt of your transgressions. You will have to pay it in full. It might not be on this side. It might be on the other side, but you will never escape the return on the investment that you made to get where you are. And the return on your investment might be jail. I'm just so shook. <laughs> like you put up a $50 million bond and they say, said nah that ain't gonna work diddy had a thousand bottles of baby oil and that i never thought that that would make headlines of all the things that i thought that they might say they found in his house i never thought that it was going to be a thousand bottles of baby oil i'm trying to figure out what the hell was he doing with thousand bottles of baby oil was they playing slip and slide or something and then they said they found lube did we really need to know that y'all found lube like this is this is this shit is <laughs> This is crazy. Like this feels like like we're watching a movie, but it, this is indeed real life. Did he really had a thousand bottles of baby oil and some lube and 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 some other things? But the other things were to be expected for them to release. However, I've I've never heard of somebody them disclosing how much baby oil somebody had. But I mean, I guess when you find baby oil in that quantity, is I guess it is newsworthy you know based on the charges and this shit is crazy and then they denied he tried to get out he tried to put his house up so he can get out on bail they nope you stay in your ass right in here y'all i just feel like a lot of y'all favorite celebrities and stuff after all of this is said and done we ain't gonna have nobody to like and i just don't know y'all <laughs> A thousand bottles of baby oil was found in Diddy's homes. And people are still trying to make this man an activist and defend him, talking about what's the matter? You can't own oil anymore. A thousand bottles of baby oil. We're not talking about anointing oil or baby oil. Nobody is that afraid of ashiness or that addicted to moisture to have a thousand bottles of baby oil. And it's not even a matter of, okay, they're trying to bring down another black man, y'all. Y'all got to stop this. Guys, there's a lot of black men. I know a lot of these black men and we don't have a thousand baby oils. There's a lot of black men who don't deal in that, okay? Nobody is, a, you could be at a, it could be a Johnson & Johnson convention facing off against Goya, a thousand bottles of baby oil. Hey, gents, is money and power that important to y'all? Are y'all that addicted? When you put people on the pedestal, sometimes I know it's a reflection of you when they fall, but please, let's be guided. A thousand bottles. That one, either you're trying to slip in or something or slip out. Either way, it's a slippery slope. That was a pun and it was intended. Thank you guys for joining us here on Slippery. <laughs> no, but seriously, a thousand bottles. Of... Come on. Guilty. I can hear the sirens. Guilty. I agree with the lady who was saying that after all of this is said and done, we won't have any celebrity to celebrate we won't have any celebrity because when the name starts popping up and we start seeing the people who were laughing with him <laughs> mm. i'm just waiting for that if they are going to do that because <laughs> we need to know we need to know one thousand there was a whole bunch of you involved in this a whole lot of you okay a whole lot of you who were involved in this thing one thousand is like did you have a deal with uh, johnson and johnson you know, is it that you own all these corn sites? You know, how many women are being held captive against their will? That you need that amount of oil on a regular basis? That you don't want to run out of it? What were you doing? What are you doing? Please go and check everywhere else. Holes, dungeons, everything. Find out what is going on because this is a law. This is a law all i'm praying is i hope there are no children involved 
Because now I'm thinking about anything and everything that could possibly happen at these said, quote and unquote, freak offs. And I wasn't surprised that there was a lot of men who were defending it, trying to be like, you know, is it like from one place? Is it from all the places? Is it from all the hotels? Is it, you know, trying to justify the whole thing? And, you know, I, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Okay. Supporting him. I'm not surprised. They all have the same mindset. They all have the same mindset. If they were in his shoes, they probably would have done worse. All right. So they don't see the problem. They, they, you know, they want him out. They support him. They support all the evil things he was doing to the women. And that's why they will say the things that they are saying. All right. But yeah, like the lady said, as for me, when it comes to wealthy people, um, <laughs> what happens is I look at them some way. Yeah. It's nice to have all those things. It must be nice to have all the power, but then what are you doing to make that kind of money? Is it legit? Are people's life being, uh, 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 uh the foundation for your wealth and success, right? So I don't support people blindly unless I know exactly where you started from, where you are going. All right. But anyway, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section and I'll see you again with another video because I need to talk about Jameson Fuhad. All right. Take care of yourselves. Bye.